What's going on, Average Tech Guy here. Today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And this is iPad Pro 12.9. And this video can actually be applied to your iPad Pro, your iPad, your iPad Air, your iPhone, any of your Apple devices. And we're gonna be talking about one of the first things that you need to do when you actually unbox this thing and get it turned on. So let's check it out. So if you're anything like me, you have multiple devices laying around the house. You got headphones, you got computers, you got phones, you got tablets, everything that we can talk about. But today, this is gonna be specific to the iPad Pro 12.9. Now, this is the one that I picked up this year. Up until that point, I had the 11 that came out in um, 2018, uh, late 2018. So this is what we're going to talk about. The first thing that you need to do when you actually pick this device up. So we know that you're going to turn it on. That's 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 automatic number one. But the first thing like really hardcore thing that you need to do, and it, it may sound crazy, but you need to name this device. Now, you may be saying, why would I be such a stickler about naming this device? Well, if you're like me, you may have computers around the house. Like I mentioned earlier, you might have headphones and they all will have the same name. So the reason that this is such a big deal is because you want to be able to quickly send photos back and forth to any of your devices via AirDrop. So let's say you got a photo that you want to send over and uh, we're going to use this photo of this band that I have right here and you want to share it and then you're just going to click on AirDrop. Well, everybody that is actually available will show up at this time. So right now, both of my MacBooks are showing up. One says Nicholas's and the other one says Nick's. Now, the one that is Nick's is my new M1. So I want to share it with that one and it just goes there. But if you don't name your devices, you're going to get something that basically says iPad, 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 iPad. You're not going to know which one that you need to actually send your photo to. So in order to do this, what you have to do is go into your settings. And once you get into your settings, you're going to be able to see your name right up top. That's me. My name is there. Now, all of your devices that fall under your specific Apple account will actually go in here. And that's what you will see. That is everything, everything that you have. Now, another place that you can actually see this at is if you go into the Apple Store application, you're going to be able to see all the devices that you own that are currently on your account. So you want to just keep up with the names so that you know which device you're actually sending things to. Now, in order to change that name, you'll just come here, you'll go there, you'll, and you come here, and you can actually edit that name. Boom, change it up. And it changes it right up. Anytime that you change one of these names, you're going to be able to identify that iPad from that point on. So that's pretty much been it. That's one of the first things that you need to do um, when you actually get your iPad and get it set up. Please name your device. It makes things a whole lot easier when you're trying to share data with your family, friends, neighbors, whatever. Uh, you're just going to be able to simply hit that airdrop button, boom, shoot it over. And if you got people in the same home, hit that airdrop button and boom, shoot it over to them. It's going to work super easy super convenient and it's one of the first things that i really want you guys to set up now hopefully this video is able to help someone if this video gets enough views a uh, little tutorial i'm going to be doing more just showing you more uh in-depth things about this device so drop a comment below and let me know what you would like to know specifically and i'll put a video together pertaining to that topic to that subject we'll try to take them one at a time so that most people can kind of grasp onto them i won't put too many in the video but this will be something that will really help you to learn how to use this ipad going forward so hopefully this has been able to help someone out until next time be sure and continue to give me that big thumbs up thanks for all the support average tech guy out peace